Hey, how's it going everybody? Behind me here I got a uh, Kubota SL75 SVL and uh, 97. Uh, the 75 is my friend's. Uh, my friend Sonny has been letting me borrow it for a couple months while well, I was trying to figure out what kind of skid straw I wanted to buy. Um, I did end up going with the SV97 um, for my, myself. But I wanted to make this quick, uh, video quick for you guys because when I was trying to figure out what skid straw I wanted, I had a really hard time trying to figure out and uh, get information on what kind of one would work best for me. And um, I've had like a couple of weeks to spend quite a bit of time on both both tractors. And I wanted to just share with you guys what I thought about the two, what one does what great, and just kind of my general opinion on the 65, or I mean the 75 versus 97. Um, and I hope that helps you guys if you guys are looking up videos and trying to figure out what tractor you wanna buy. Um, so I'll start with, uh, just kind of the six, the 75, what, what I really liked about it is it's really smooth. It's, it's really easy to while operate. It, uh, it's not as jerky and I think it's cause of it's lower, lower horsepower. It's just a really smooth tractor. It even tracks really smooth. I don't know if it's cause it has a different set of tracks on what the 97 has, or if it has a little shorter wheelbase or it's just a little bit less power, but if, if you're a seasoned operator and you kind of know what you're doing and you, you know how to roll onto the hydraulic skid and you have like kind of a good sense of like how to take care of equipment, I guess, for lack of better words, I don't know how to say that, but um, the 75 is a really fun, really smooth tractor. Um, and, I, and I guess I'll just go right over to 97 and tell you guys why I found, I didn't know the 75 was so easy to operate until I did buy the 97. Um, and the 97 has so much power and it, it, it just, uh, it's really like jerky and a little bit harsh and moves forward and backwards really fast. It almost feels like you're on the turbo mode, like you're on the rabbit mode all the time. And there's even like almost this tiny bit of lag where like the turbo's kicking or something and it just kind of like goes from like not going to like really hauling ass. And it's a little tricky. It's, it's not big, it's actually really fun for a seasoned operator who really knows how to like roll onto the joysticks and can predict that power and know when it's gonna hit and just kind of learn the tractor really quickly. Um, I've enjoyed my time on it and uh, it's really great. But man, if you're not a good operator and you're just the type of person that just wants to run and gun. You just really don't know what the hell you're doing. We all know people out there like that. I've seen them on equipment where I'm like wondering if someone's gonna get, uh, you know, if someone get that guy off that tractor before he kills somebody. Um, if you're just like renting this tractor and you just never really rode or drove a tractor before, um, or this is your first piece of equipment, probably stay away from the 97 because these, these tractors, they're designed to run full throttle, not half throttle, not quarter throttle, not sometimes with the foot pedal. These things are made to run wide open, and um, if you can't run it wide open like that without getting jerky wild and bucking yourself out of the seat, just get get out of it and don't even think about getting the 97 because it that thing is a powerhouse. It's a dog and it wants to eat all day long, and it's gonna take anything you can give to it. Um, I have a lot of fun with it, but because it's that way, it has a little bit more of a tendency to get a little bit out of hand and feel just a little bit harsher when operating. Um, you just gotta like really have it together the whole time you're on that tractor. Um, but it can be a really fun tractor. But going back and forth to the two, it makes the 75 really pleasant to operate. It really does. It makes the 75 like really like almost feel like a Cadillac. Um, the only thing is when you do get to 75, when you get back on the 75, if you've been on the 97 for a little bit, you really feel like the 75, like you feel the bucket of dirt in your bucket, where like the 97 has so much, such a large counterweight and has so much power that you can just go flying and bobbing through stuff and hitting bumps and picking up dirt with a full, you can have a full load of dirt in your bucket and it feels like that bucket's empty. You just, you don't even feel the bucket of dirt. You don't feel it bogged down when you go into anything. The tracks will just start spinning. Um, and just you'll just start digging um, the, the thing like I, the, the difference in power is unreal between the two um, so it makes it a, a you know pros and cons it's like makes it funner and it also makes it not funner 
as far as the 97 goes um, because of how much power it has. But like I said, if you know how to operate good, the 97 is a real joy to, joy to be on and can save you a lot of time and you can do a lot of work in a really short period of time uh, if you know what you're doing. But um, anyway, that's what makes the 75 feel so good. Um, but yeah, when, when you go back to the 75, you really feel that bucket of dirt in the 75 bucket. You really feel kind of tippy, kind of like, not that it can't handle it. It does, it does a great job. It has plenty of power. It's a, it's a massive skidster compared to a lot of those on the market. It's going to be right there with like the Takeuchi TL8 probably. Um, and uh, it just, it just it does a great job. It just compared to the 97, when you get back on the 75, like you, you feel the bucket of dirt. You feel it kind of bogged down a little bit or them hydraulics kind of go into recirc or reflow, whatever they call it, when, you, when you're really like pushing into something um, where you just don't notice that on 97. Um, but yeah, that's my thoughts. I mean, other than that, they really feel really, they're both amazing pieces of equipment. Um, I did get a chance to ride a 65 for a little bit. Um, it felt uh, almost identical to a 75. So if you're not picky and you just want something to move around and you're just doing some yard work, small stuff, um, I'd probably just go with the 65, save yourself some money because it feels a lot, I mean a lot like the uh, the 75. Um, but yeah, I, that's my opinion on both tractors. I love them. They're both great. Uh, I would only get a... I mean, I, I got the 97 because I, I'm usually working on my motocross track, um, moving large amounts of dirt. When I'm on a job, it's uh, maintaining roads, moving culverts, um, putting that pile of dirt over here, and just really, just really moving dirt and trying to do it pretty quickly. So that's what made me go with the 97. I'm really glad I did. It's going to work great for what I want to do. Um, but if that's not what you're doing and you just need something, you want something around your house, maybe you want to put some attachments and drill some some posts, some T-posts, and maybe you're a contractor and you just do like some civil stuff and you're mostly just doing small stuff. Um, I, I would go definitely 100% go with the 75 or, or the 65. They're just great machines. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that's it, man. I, I mean, you guys take, take what you want for it. I wish someone would have told, I wish I could have watched a video that compared the two and someone who had actually spent time on both of them and could tell you and I mean that I, I hope this video saves you some time and it helps you a little bit if you guys got any questions or anything put them in the comments I'll be happy to try to answer them best that I can still pretty new to the 97 it's a brand new machine I've only had it for a couple weeks so I haven't done a lot I built the motocross track back here we, we kind of did the old track and um, been lifting some stuff around the yard it's going on its first job tomorrow actually um, so we're that's what we're doing this evening we're kind of loading up greasing tractors got the mini X over there all ready to go um, but yeah super fortunate first of all super blessed to even have these things in my yard so um, just can't give it up to the good Lord and um, keeping us working and keeping keeping these things going but uh, thank you guys for watching the video really appreciate it and uh, hope this helps you guys you guys have a great evening talk to you guys later